Cinema 4D Release 11 is packed with powerful, exciting and useful new features. This movie will give you a quick overview of some of the new tools found in Maxon's latest release. First off, Release 11 is much faster than previous versions. On a modern Mac or PC it averages over twice as fast rendering than Release 10.5. Take a look at this typical example scene. Release 10.5 3 minutes, Release 11 around 1 minute 30 seconds. A huge improvement. Render quality is also much improved thanks to the gorgeous brand new global illumination engine in the advanced render module. Not only is it faster and higher quality than the old GI, it's easier to use in your scenes and standard settings will often be all that you need to get fantastic results. With animation, GI can now produce flicker free images even when you're animating both cameras and objects within your scenes. For Mac Leopard customers, there's the new 64-bit mode which allows you to take full advantage of all the RAM available on your machine. That means you can add even more detail to your 3D scenes. Animation has yet again been enhanced. The new nonlinear animation mode makes it easy to add additional animation to an animated object without fear of damaging any animation you've already done. And if you don't like the new enhancements, simply delete them and you'll still have your original animation to hand. The new ghosting mode makes it easy on a single frame to see where your animated objects were and where they are going to. And the new doodle mode helps you communicate changes required within a scene to other people within your animation team. Texturing receives boosts too, with the new transparency options like absorption, which help produce more realistic transparent objects. And for painting, Body Paint 3D has new tools like Colorize, Blur, Sharpen, support for ABR brushes and much more. Workflow is also greatly improved with an overhauled render settings area that contains presets for many popular outputs like for print, settings like A4, A1 etc, for film TV, PAL, NTSC etc and you can even save your favourite settings and have them available as presets. Cinema 4D continues to play friendly with other apps with a new import slash export of the popular Collada format which allows easy transfer of 3D data such as objects, lights, cameras and animation from apps which support this fantastic format. Lastly, but by no means least, Advanced Render now provides support for three RenderMan engines, Pixar's PhotoReal, Cytex's Air and 3Delight. Not only can you output to these engines, but you can set up Cinema 4D's editor view to use these, and you can even use RenderMan shaders and lights within your Cinema 4D scenes. And that is just the tip of the Cinema 4D Release 11 iceberg. For more information, take a look at the in-depth movies on Cinema 4D, Body Paint 3D and Advanced Render and we'll show you each of these features in action and why they are so useful to you.